Recording, Recording in progress. progress. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the Lotus Lounge podcast here with Danae. Ah, see how I did that? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Here with Danae and Uma B. So glad and happy to have you guys here. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, wow. Episode six, season three. We're, we're doing this, Danae. We're like official. When do we get the, the radio show? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. But um, I'm excited to be here with you guys. We have a lot to talk about this week. So without further ado, I'm going to kick it over to Danae, let her get us into the right mindset to receive all this amazing healing energy coming in. So she's going to kick it off with a guided meditation, and then we're going to move along. All right, Danae, take it over. Awesome. awesome. Okay, okay, guys. guys. Welcome, Welcome to the, to the Lotus, Lotus Lounge. Lounge. Season, Season three, three, episode six. six. I will be um, introducing us to the gift, and I'll pull a, card a for beautiful you. guided okay. meditation for today. So I'm going to have you close your eyes and take a deep breath in through your nose and slowly release through your mouth. As you get into the rhythm of a slow, deep breath in and slow release through your mouth, I just want us to now take deep breaths. Focus on our thoughts as they come, release them, acknowledge them. Acknowledge those thoughts as they come and then release them, focusing back on your breath. Taking a deep breath in and slowly releasing through your mouth. Let's focus on the woods right now. Come on this journey with me as we walk in the woods, allowing ourselves to be grounded with every step we take. What do, what do you see, see when you look to your left? left? What, do what do you see when you look to your right? right? As, you As you walk, walk in the woods, woods I want you to focus on that water you hear, a light, light stream, trickle of water. water. You, you hear it, it but you don't, don't yet see it. See it. As, As you're, you're focusing on your breath in, in and, and releasing, I want, I want you to walk closer and closer to the source of water. As, As you see, see the water getting closer and closer, and closer to you, you, you see a beautiful stream just flowing, flowing to your right. As you get closer to that stream, I want, I want you to take, take a look, look into that, that water. water. What did you see? Is, is it your reflection? Is, is it your loved one? one? I, want I want you to stay, stay in that water of reflection, reflection for, for a few moments with me. What, what message do you have for yourself? What, what message does your spirit guide have for you? What, what message does your loved one have for you in the reflection of, of the water? Kaliop, thank you. What's your question, love? Wow. Okay. I want you to smile in the water. Now I want you to get up and continue to ground and walk through the wood. Understand that he will lose me with his behavior. As you continue to walk, I want you to take a deep breath in. Hang tight. 
within the next few weeks. And so slowly we'll release through your mouth. mouth. Thank you for my gift. And when, and when you're ready, ready I, I would like, like for you to open, open your eyes and, and hold on to that beautiful divine, divine message you received, you received today from, from the walk. walk. Namaste. Namaste. Okay. okay. So, without so without further ado, I'm going to go ahead into our beautiful, beautiful crystal, crystal of the week. week. Okay. okay. Lapis, Lapis lazuli. lazuli. Okay. okay. That, that is the crystal, crystal of the week. week. And, I and I had to share, share with you because I'm a Sagittarius. One of, One of my, my dear soul, soul sisters got me this beautiful tree, tree and, it and it goes in my workspace, okay? okay? The, the energy of this crystal is beautiful and profound, and like the amazing crystals we always have, have. all right? It helps, it helps relieve, relieve symptoms such as insomnia, dizziness, and, and headaches, okay? okay? It, is it is associated with the throat, throat chakra, chakra the, expression the expression of the energy center, center all right? All right? It can strengthen the ability of expression. You're welcome. And can promote the ability of the throat chakra. Okay. The being able to speak our truth, being able to say things in a creative way that is also very stern and true. It can soothe the emotions and stabilize the state of mind. It is, it is also, also known, known to protect, protect and for safety and health. And health. Okay. okay. Lapez Lazuli is one of those beautiful, beautiful stones, beautiful, beautiful blue. blue. And it, and it is, is known, known for so many different things in so many different, things, so many different, different ways. ways. So, so make sure, sure you get, get that crystal. crystal. Okay. okay? And, and I'm, I'm going to turn it over to our amazing Uma B for the weekly <laughs> Thank you. Okay, guys, we're going to keep it moving, trucking right along. Welcome in. This is the Lotus Lounge podcast here with Danae and Uma. So guys, when I do the weekly reading, I like to pull three cards to give us an idea of what the energy is going to be like for the beginning of the week, the middle of the week and the weekend. All right. Now, this is not a personal reading. If anyone would like to have a personal reading, maybe you have an important week this week and you want to know how it's going to go. Definitely yeah. feel free to hit me up. It is twenty six twenty five for a weekly reading. You can get an email to you. You can get it on the phone or an IG or Facebook chat. But um, you definitely have several options if you want a reading specifically for you. This is just going to tell you the energy of the week. All right. And this is for everyone. So here we go. The beginning of the week is amazing. We kick it off with the star. It says, go ahead and wish upon a star. The angels say you have every reason to feel hope and happy. Believe in your dreams and look to your future with optimism, excitement, and confidence. Challenging times are now behind you and brighter times are ahead. Make your plans with the long view in mind. Now is the time to envision your life the way you want it to be and to take action in that direction. The expectations you create for yourself are planted in fertile soil. Trust and follow your intuition as it's right on target. So we have great energy around us for the beginning of the week, Monday and Tuesday. The star is here to remind us that we create our reality, right? It's our thoughts that create our reality. And spirit is saying that you have every reason to feel hopeful because you are on the right path and you can actually start to make long-term plans right? You can make long-term plans because you're on the right path. So if you guys are feeling down and out on Monday and Tuesday, that's on you. That is on you because the energy is here for you to do something with and for you to go further. All right. So try to stay positive. No matter what you're going through, try to stay positive. The energy is here to help you manifest that. Now, the middle of the week, we do run into some bumpy, bumpy roads. The middle of the week, we have four of earth. The four of earth is a card of extremes. It can be a cautionary message to take care of your resources. Perhaps time to create a savings account, review your spending habits, but it's also possible that you're too financially conservative. So this is a message to donate time or money to charities and worthy causes. 
The idea here is that you're don't be in the extreme. The, the energy is there to be in the extremes, right? Whether you want to overspend or oversave, but you got to find the middle ground. Your hard work is paying off, but stay alert to new possibilities. Change is inevitable and can bring newfound sources of abundance. Be open to new and exciting opportunities. Don't let fear-based thoughts limit your actions. So by the middle of the week, we're going to see you have the opportunity to make some judgments about your finances, your career, and we hope that you make the right judgments, the good business decisions, right? Don't rush, think things right. through, and don't do things for a short term, do things for the long term, okay? So be careful of the energy in the middle of the week. We have great energy Monday, Tuesday, the middle of the week we might feel a little bit of glum, but don't worry, by the weekend, everything sorts itself back out. We have the renewal card. So the renewal card says, the angel sent you this card because you're near the end of a project or at a crossroads on the threshold of making an important change. This card signifies that it's time to review and do some evaluation. Make thoughtful judgments regarding your life and then make confident choices. Rest easy, know that you've prepared well, legal situations are resolved favorably for you. In addition, academic exams and tests go well. So there is a possibility this weekend for a couple of us to be making landmark decisions. Mm -hmm. It could be court cases resolving in your favor. It could be um, career decisions made in your favor. But it's good energy coming in, right? That's meant to up level you. But remember, if you're in a fear energy, what, what's going to happen? You're going to take it as it's a negative. Yeah. We have to look at things and always see everything as the positive that it is. Does that make sense? Yes. yes. Got everything to for, yeah. for you. To you. I love that. Everything is happening for you, not to you. I say that a lot. Thank you for reminding me because that, that is so true. Everything Because when I get stressed, that's what I'll do. I'll say, Uma, everything is happening for you, not to you, not to you, for you. And it does help me change my perspective. So really and truly, you guys have a lot of opportunities this week to up level, but it depends on your mindset. Are you staying in the negative, pessimism, fear, doubt, worry, or are you choosing to see everything that comes this week as possible alignment, possible up leveling and elevation? And choice is always yours, right? Right. I love that. Choice is always yours. So I'm excited for this week. Are you excited, Danae? I think we're going to have I a am. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're going to have a great week. Now, um, it's funny because I always choose with Danae the, the spotlight, like because we do so many modalities at Lotus and the Light Metaphysical Center that we like to spotlight one every week to talk about it, to give you guys an idea about what it's about. And the one that I chose for this week makes sense to me because, you know, a lot of us have blocks that are subconscious. What's a subconscious block? It's a block that you don't even know is there. Now, this could be from your early life, your childhood. This can be from a past life. And the spotlight today is on past life regression. <laughs> so for those of you that don't know, I am a trained um, past life regression practitioner. I was trained by Dr. Brian Weiss, the creator of past life regression therapy. And I got into past lives really by a stroke of luck, or I guess part of my path, right? I read right. his book, Many Lives, Many Masters. I was in France with my family on a family vacation. We were cruising down the river and I was reading this book and it just hit me. This man is still alive and he's still teaching. I want to learn from him because the, the book, Many Lives, Many Masters, was so profound to me. I had to meet him. So I did. I, went I, I had to meet him too. Did you meet him? Yes. yes. He's amazing, isn't he? He really, he really is. is. And his voice is really like that. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you that like listen to him, you know, on YouTube, his voice is really like that. He, he could just put you to sleep. He's so comforting and calm. But I went to Omega Institute and I spent a week learning the past life regression therapy techniques. Here's what I'll tell you. Do it to know, you know, people are like, by Uma, you always talk about going forward, not going backward. 
why would you want to do a past life regression? Well, sometimes it's just, it gives you an understanding of why you are the way you are. Like for instance, I did a past life regression where I finally found out my intense fear of snakes. I died in one lifetime by a snake bite, you know, mm -hmm. and um, it just stayed with me for many years. Now I still have like a fear of snakes, natural, I would say, not an unhealthy one. And my past life regression helped me with that. Yeah. So people ask me, like, why would you want to do a past life regression therapy? If you have trauma that you don't understand, this is a great way to understand it. If you want to understand like a connection to certain people or a person, um, if you're just curious, you want to know who you were in a past life and what you did and you want to relive that life. These are all great reasons to do a past life regression therapy uh, session. Absolutely. Yeah. So that is the spotlight, past life regression therapy. I do mine online. I make a Zoom appointment with you because uh, if you, you can come to my studio, of course, and do it. But because my studio is in an office building, we can't control the sound. So if there's cars outside or people walking around, you know, um, it could disrupt you because I am a trained hypnotist, but I don't put you into a full trance. I put you into a light trance when I'm doing a past life regression. So you're still very awake and alert to what's going on around you. And if you don't have a very strong focus, you can get distracted easily and you may not travel. So I prefer to do my past life regressions online where you are in your home, you can, you know, handle the noise or you're used to the noise um, and then we can just kind of get into it. So I do have a special this week and the special is um, I'm taking $50 off a past life regression session. So if you would like to book a session this week, which is this week, I'm talking about Monday, October 16th to Sunday, October 22nd. If you book, you don't have to, to use it within this week. You could use it next week. You have to use it within October, but you can okay. at least book and prepay. And if you book and prepay, you can get $50 off the cost of a past life regression session. And I would love to do that for you. Uh, speaking of specials, Danae, do you have any specials going on this week? So, so I have a monthly special one and I'm going to post that on my Instagram. Um, so, so that's what I have friends. You have what? My, my special, special um, I'm going to post them on Instagram. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay, so check her, Danae's Instagram for her specials this week. And what about events? What events do you have coming up this week? Tomorrow, Tomorrow day at 30 p.m. Eastern, Eastern Standard Time, I will, I will be having an in-memory grief, grief support group. group. It's, it's about, about 40 minutes. minutes. It's, it's a good opportunity for you to have a date based on honor a loved one that you have lost in this, this life. Okay, awesome. Well, for me, guys, I have three events this week uh, that you can come and take a class with me. On the 17th, Tuesday the 17th, I have a free talk at 1 p.m. Eastern where I'm going to be discussing the types of spiritual love relationships. There are different types. Some are negative, some are positive. Some will hold you back. Some will help you grow. So we're going to be talking about that at 1 p.m. on Tuesday, October 17th. You can catch me on my YouTube channel or in my Facebook group, The Lotus and the Light on Facebook. I will be broadcasting on those two um, sites at 1 p.m. on Tuesday. On Thursday, the 19th at 1 p.m., I have an energetic clearing session, and this is actually interactive. So you'll tell me what you're struggling with in the areas of love, health, career, finances, and we're gonna do access energetic clearings on them. This is a virtual session. And this will be in a Zoom meeting. So you would prepay for the class and then you would get the Zoom link and then you would come in and for that hour, I'll be doing clearings and anybody who um, comes in. On Saturday, the 21st of October, I will be teaching a Reiki one class at 10 a.m. This can be virtual or in person. So if I have two people sign up and they both want it virtual, we're having a virtual class. If two people sign up and they say they want to have it in person, we're having an in-person class. So you guys get to tell me how you want to learn your Reiki. Reiki is a great energy healing modality. Both Danae and I are teachers and providers of the sessions. And it's just, I think everybody should be at least Reiki one attuned. Yeah, yeah absolutely. 
Yeah, because that helps with your self-care, you know? All right, so those are our specials and events for the week. We're going to end out with our avatar. Let's see who is here with us this week. And then also our law of attraction message. So I'm going to kick it over to Danae. Tell us, Danae, who's with us this week? Awesome. Oh, All right. All right. How do you say her name? Jophiel? Jophiel. Ooh, okay. Jophiel. All right. All right, and the next is, is clear your, your state. state. Get, Get rid of clutter. clutter. They're, they're the energy of you and you. And you. So, so, this, this is, is a perfect time for me to as well, well because we're so, we're so used to the term cleaning. We need to, to get in front of seeing and clearing. Okay, okay. we need to, to reorganize as seasonship. We need to, to remind ourselves, okay. okay. How we're moving into the fall. What things do I need to let out? What do I need to donate? What things do I need to stash? What am I not using that I can give away? It's a opportunity for us to prepare for the season, to relieve, and these all not as good. Make sure that you get an opportunity to clear your temple, home, vehicle. Um, all, all those areas, areas reflect that. that. Yeah, and it, it is clear. clear. You have, you have clear. a clear. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, I've been in that kind of decluttering decluttering energy recently and just wanting to like throw everything out. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, well, before you get rid of anything, you better call your book. <laughs> I know, right? She's like, let me, just, let me just go through and make sure there's nothing here that I need to look at. I get it. I get it. All right. I love that message. And our law of attraction message that we're going to leave you guys with for the week. First, I seek joy and all else follows. Since your feeling of joy is your indication of your connection with your source, once you have achieved joy, you have achieved connection with your source. And under these circumstances, all that is good follows. This is just a reminder, guys, that you have a choice. Every day you have a choice. And your choices determine whether you feel sad or whether you feel happy. <clears throat> we always want to choose the things that make us happy because that means we're in alignment with source. And when we're in alignment with source, everything flows. Everything just really flows. So remember, guys, focus on your joy this week. Focus on staying in your joy because then you're in alignment with your spirit guides, with your source, and then life could just work out better for you. All right? I love, I love it. All right, Danae, thank you again for doing this with me, with this podcast. Love you lots. See you again you. next week. All Bye, right, y'all. Bye, Bye for now. now.